Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I have a pretty cool one and pretty important one for you guys. We're gonna be going over Brave, the browser, how to harden it, and also the best extensions for it. So I already filmed this video a couple days ago. It was too long, too complicated, so I shortened it, condensed it. I even removed a couple of extensions that are not needed anymore, and I think I have probably the perfect Brave setup, at least right now. Brave is my browser of choice. It doesn't break many things. I used to use Firefox full time. I had that thing dialed in with the tweaks and the settings and it just became too much and Brave is just simpler and it runs better for my workflow. So in an effort to not make this video take too long, I'm going to speak a little quicker than normal and I'm going to try to get through this, explain as much as I can so you guys understand the best setup. Brave browser, you can get it on pretty much any operating system. I have it here on the Mac. Always make sure it's up to date by going into settings and clicking on about Brave and it will check to make sure it's up to date. When you're in settings here, We'll go through each one of these and then I'm gonna go through the extensions and how to harden it. Starting off here, I personally like to use mine, continue where you left off. For my tabs, that's personal preference, pick what you like. Next up here is appearance. And of course you can tweak this however you like. Uh, I have mine set up like so, you guys can see. I of course hide all the Brave reward stuff. I don't really use any of that. Here's a pretty important one, show warning before quitting. I always keep that enabled so I don't accidentally close out. Next up is new tab. I have that set to dashboard. Again, doesn't matter. Shields, this does matter. So you're gonna to wanna to have this on and turn it to advanced view uh, so that you can see everything that's being blocked. I set mine to aggressive. I recommend you do the same. Upgrade connections to HTTPS, of course, have that on. Block scripts, I don't do. Cookie blocking, I have only cross site. And then fingerprint blocking, I have it on strict. So I sometimes have to tweak these a little bit per site. This is a great way to have it defaulted. Uh, it just makes things easier by blocking as much as possible. Brave rewards, I don't have that. Social media blocking, uh, I just have Google on, but honestly, I'll probably turn that off and see if it breaks my YouTube login, it probably won't. Security and privacy here. You guys can see I have most of these turned off. WebRTC is set to default public interface only. All of these are turned off. Yours is probably gonna have this turned on. I would turn it off. Turn off all those telemetry things. Down here, you guys can see I have third-party cookies blocked. Uh, I recommend you do the same. Sync here, I don't use that. Search engine, I have it set to start page, but I'm gonna switch that over, at least for now, uh, over to DuckDuckGo. But you guys can see you got Brave Search, Google Search, don't use that. DuckDuckGo, QWant. Bing, start page in Ecosia, don't use that one either, uh, so if you care about privacy at least. So stick with DuckDuckGo or start page, something like that. Next up, extensions. So I have all this stuff turned off. I recommend you do the same. I recommend turning off private window with Tor. Download the Tor browser on your own. Uh, don't use the one in here. It's not as secure and private uh, just by default. So I recommend just downloading the actual Tor browser if you wanna use Tor. So uh, yeah, turn that off and you should be good here. We'll go over extensions here in a second. Wallets, you guys can see I don't really use that. IPFS, I don't use that either. None of this stuff matters too much. Uh, system here, I use hardware acceleration when available because I have an incredibly powerful MacBook. Down here, always make sure that you are up to date. That is hugely important, so make sure you do that. All right, let's get on to the fun stuff, the extensions. Now I have removed quite a few here, but let's go over these one by one. First off, 1Password. I use them as a password manager. I also use Bitwarden. So if you want a free one, use Bitwarden. If you want to pay, use 1Password. Totally up to you, but please use a password manager. Next up behind the overlay, uh, I use this occasionally if a website pops up something in front of the screen that doesn't let you see what's behind it. I'll just turn this on and then use it real quick. There's not as many websites anymore that it works with because most websites aren't having pop-ups and stuff anymore, but I know Facebook sometimes will force you to log in if you want to see something but you don't want to, so you just want to see the content, just click the button and boom, you can see it without logging in. Clear URLs, this one I actually just turned off yesterday, and that's part of the reason I'm remaking this video. I'll get to that in a second. Cookie auto-delete, I like that too. Some people say you don't need it if you clear cookies when you close the browser, but personally, I like to clear mine every two minutes, and that's what I've got mine set to. So if I close a website, it clears out the cookies two minutes later. Enhancer for YouTube, because I use this to watch a lot of YouTube. I have this to automatically set all my videos to two times speed and max quality and stuff like that. Google Translate, I have that off, but when I go to foreign websites, I need that. Ublock Origin, this is a must. If you get one thing out of this whole video, get Ublock Origin, and I'm gonna show you guys how to set that up here in a minute. VidIQ Vision for YouTube, I use that because obviously I'm a content creator. What do you need? You probably need Ublock Origin. Some people say you don't even need that because you got Brave Shields. I like Ublock Origin, I'd get that. Next, I would get a password manager of some type. And lastly, if you want cookie auto-delete, get that, or just clear your cookies every time you close a browser. That's pretty much it. That's all you need. You got Brave Shields, you got everything else protecting you. Looking pretty good. If you need a private email, uh, definitely check out ProtonMail. Way better than Gmail and Yahoo Mail, so just wanted to give them a quick plug. 
not getting paid for that. Real quick, let's talk about uBlock Origin here. I have mine set to block all third-party frames, which does get in the way sometimes with CAPTCHAs and stuff. So I will have to temporarily, by clicking this, refresh a page. And just for that session, uh, I'll be able to get through it. Uh, let's go to the settings here. Uh, you guys can see what I've got checked. You guys can do the same if you want. Uh, definitely do I'm an advanced user, so you get more granularity there. You can disable JavaScript, block remote fonts if you want. Filter list, this is where the fun stuff is. I expand all of these and I check every one of them except for these regional ones. Down here, it says that I added spam 404. I don't think I did, I don't remember, but this one I did add, this actually legitimate URL shortener tool. I will drop this link down below. You guys will see right here it is. Um, so all you do is you click on it and you grab this URL, copy it, and you paste it into import here. And then you apply the changes and it will import all of these different rules and URLs. So it's super helpful. What this will do is if you click on a referral, one way to test if this is working, uh, if you actually follow the steps that I just gave you and you just did it, uh, go ahead and click down below in the description, one of my Amazon referral links. Typically, if you click on one of those, I will get a small commission uh, because Amazon can track that you clicked it through my link, which is totally fine, totally normal. However, if you didn't want to give me that uh, little referral kickback money, then what you could do is install this. And when you click on one of my links, it should take that referral header out of the URL. To show you what I mean here, I'm gonna click on this right here. This is an Amazon referral link. And when I click on it, you guys will see my referral link is nowhere to be seen in there. It totally strips it out. So I will get no money for you clicking my link which kind of sucks because I referred you, but at the same time, hey, it's your privacy, you deserve it. There you go, enjoy your new privacy tool. Anyways, that is how I set up my uBlock origin. So I think you now have every bit of information needed to set up Brave in a very privacy oriented manner. So real quick, let me go back to the extensions, uh, clear URLs. What I've done is by adding this here into uBlock origin, it does most of what clear URLs does. And the whole idea these days is to use the least amount of add-ons as possible just to limit your attack vectors. In theory, any one of these could get hacked one day, one of these plugins. So the less you have, the better. Now, could this change in the future? Yeah, I might want clear URLs back again, but for now I'm just keeping it disabled and I'm gonna rock with uBlock Origin. Brave's been doing a really good job of compartmentalizing different caches and stuff, so I'm not too worried about it. So let me know what you thought about this video. Hopefully I went over everything. I know there's tons of guides on YouTube, but they don't go into everything. I literally just went through everything, the whole setup, including uBlock Origin, so any questions, leave them down below, but I think I covered everything. That's all I got for this one, guys. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.